Hello, I'm Adam Sedgwick, and for those that are interested in snowmobiling, snowmobiling enthusiasts, or those that just want to learn more information about snowmobiling, I'm creating the slidecast um, describing my um, design choices um, behind my infograph. So there's four different topics I'm going to discuss today. That is alignment, color harmony, grid layout, and font style. These all played important roles in the way that I designed my infograph. So starting with alignment. Alignment can be defined as the placement of photos, text, and decorations that create harmony in design and enable information to be viewed and captured with ease. So if you look at this first infograph, I have six laws that I um, define. And within these laws, there's different, there's a, a similar layout. They're all organized in a neat fashion, and it's it's easy to, to view, and the pictures are, are organized such that it all kind of flows together. It all kind of comes together. And if you look throughout my infograph, you'll, you'll notice a similar type of pattern. You know, I try to make everything organized and aligned in a way that's pleasing to the eye and easy to understand, not disorganized. The second topic that I'm just talking about today is color harmony. That is the pleasing arrangement of colors within an infographic that creates a pleasing and harmonious visual to the eye. This helps create an interesting and even stimulating infograph and is very important to have the right color harmony and color schemes. Um, it helps when, when done right, it helps create a dynamic equilibrium. So for my infograph, because I was chose snowmobiling as my topic, I chose, chose a variety of different colors that are kind of found in nature, such as browns, grays, greens, and blues. And I tried to use a different variety of these colors to make it interesting, but I tried to make it like each of the different grids flow together. And so if, if you look throughout, you'll notice that they're all the colors are similar, with the exception of this one. Uh, but they're all they're all similar and they all kind of flow together. Um, th this next topic, grid layout, um, is a way of organizing each of the different grids or sections of the infograph. And so I, I, I use two different principles that are that were very important. One is is the use of white space. It's important to use text, but it's also important to have a section that is without text. White space helps create um, harmony in, in a sense that the information that's not there you can fill in with your own mind. And so and some of these have more white space than others, but white space was, is an important thing to consider. The next is that rows and columns can be unequal sizes, and it can actually help make it easier to understand. So if you notice, mine are all different sizes. My first one's a little bit larger, my second one's smaller, and they're different sizes. But the important thing is that they're all separated um, by a distinct barrier. And so that's, in this case, it's, it's this pattern here that distinguishes each of my different sections for the, the viewer to understand that where, like, when the next, the next section is. And lastly, font style. A good infograph has a variety of different fonts but no more than two different typefaces or four different type variations. So I chose to use, my, my font that I chose to use is Lead Gothic, and I decided to use this font because it's Sanskrit, which is a good website and flat design font because it's, it's easy to read. It doesn't have the tail on there like some of the fonts you'll see. And the other font I used, this is the only time I used it, was right here. It's a kind of a decorative font. It's Caution Script, and I, I chose it because it's kind of contrasting, it's different, and it helps it helps kind of draw the, the user's attention. So, you know, they're reading these laws and they say, oh, what, what is this website? And, you know, snowmobiling laws and rules. And so it gives them a source, just right off on this page, that's easy to, to spot because it's a different font. Um, the other choice I, I chose was I chose to use size 39 font for most of my headings. Like these headings are all 39 font. Um, and then size 20 and 28 font for the text. The exception is, is the title here. I chose a little bit larger font, size 64, and I chose all caps um, to make it a little more contrasting and outstanding. Thank you for listening. And in conclusion, you know, when, when making an infograph, there's a lot of different design choices that you need to be aware of in order to, to make it a, a good infograph, in order to make it pleasing to the eye, in order to get the information across clearly. Thank you. Bye.